as we talked about earlier, there's this, this uh, through, I mean, it's called the iPhone. It's about you. You have personalized radio stations, personalized TV things you can choose now. Um, it's all about, in one sense, we've uh, kind of codified selfishness in a way where if you can personalize it, you should. What do you say to a newly married couple who is becoming increasingly frustrated at the wants and desires of the other spouse as they begin in infringing on what they once saw as their own um, time, access, comforts. Really what you're reflecting on is the crass self-centeredness of our culture and the fact that when couples who have been schooled by that very personalized entertainment, personalized everything, come together and try to blend together in marriage, that's a huge challenge. That's a very different challenge than I faced in 1968 when I got married. You don't remember 1968. Not uh, well, at least. <laughs> but uh, so uh, I, I think that's a, you know, that's a huge challenge. But it seems to me like part of the answer to that is recognizing the, the ways that I've been seduced by a culture that validates me having my own personal everything, my personal space, me time, all that kind of stuff. I think we've, we've got a culture that validates that and almost sees that as a necessity. That there's something wrong with you if you don't, uh, if you don't do that. Identifying that as a problem, just recognize, boy, that's, uh, the ways that I've been seduced by a cultural milieu that creates expectations that now make what the scripture says is normal that two people should become one flesh seem really weird and, and difficult.